it's Prachi and today I'm going to share with you my piercing stories because I have a lot of stories to share a lot of drama a lot of manipulation a lot of mistakes that I've made uh, also a lot to learn actually for those of you who are planning to get their ears lips um, any part of their faces or their body pierced so just keep watching so guys I'm gonna start with the first piercing no actually you know you know what I'm gonna start with what has happened to my hair Yes, I'm wearing a hair oil and I did not remove it because I'm trying out a new DIY, okay, a new hair DIY. So I'm just trying this thing out on myself today and if it works, I'll make a video on it. If not, I'll just chuck it. But then, you know, on the bright side, new hairstyle. You guys keep asking me to make a new hairstyle. So in, in a way, it's a new hairstyle, right? Justifiably true. Uh, now, moving to the piercings. Let me start with the first piercing of all. Uh, okay, so the first piercing, I'm, I'm sure a lot, most of the girls actually already have their lower earlobes pierced, you know, who are watching this video. Uh, for me personally, I don't really have any memory of this because I was like this small. My mom told me that and this is by the way a brilliant idea, you know, for all the new mothers out there. Um, like my mom got my lower ears pierced when I was like very small for like two reasons. Number one, the skin is very soft, so it's not going to hurt a lot and since I'm a baby, you know, it's going to heal very quickly. Like, you know, my body is still growing very fast, so I'll actually heal very quickly. It will not hurt me so much. And uh, the number two reason is that I think anybody who has got their body pierced will know this. That I think the worst part of getting a piercing is all that anticipation of pain, you know, or something like an injection. When, you know, the injection is coming, you're like, oh my God, do I really want to do this? Do I really want to do this? <laughs> So yeah, since I was a baby and I was, you know, blissfully sleeping away and totally unaware of what was, what was actually coming my way, uh, this piercing was like easy peasy, it healed very quickly, it was very simple. So I really thank my mom a lot for that. The second piercing and this was when I was like 15, 16 years old. So basically me and my cousin, we both wanted our ears pierced like this and we both were like, you know, just like trying to convince our mom anyhow to just like let us get this part of the ears pierced. So my mom was not against the idea of it, like she didn't find it repulsive. But for her, it was just, you know, like impossible to imagine that, you know, her daughter was going to go through something so painful. Because my mom is like the kind of person, you know, like if you show her an injection, she'll scream. She, she's that scared of those things. Finally, one day she was really fed up and tired of, you know, talking to me and arguing with me on this. So she's like, go just do, go and do whatever you want to do. The next thing, I grabbed my wallet and I ran out of the house <laughs> and I called up my cousin I'm like, hey, you know what, I'm on my way to getting my ears pierced, you need to come down too. And she's like, what, you convinced your mom? I'm like, yeah, I convinced my mom, what about you? She's like, no, 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 my mom is still not agreeing to it. I'm like, I don't care, I'm getting my ears pierced because if I don't do it today, it's never gonna happen. So she's like, okay, fine, you know what, I'm coming too. And uh, we basically, long story short, we ended up getting our ears pierced that day. We, we got this, we got our ears pierced at a local beauty parlor. So we knew that uh, they, they, they do piercings over there because we had seen other clients getting their ears pierced. While my piercing went well, for my cousin, it didn't go so well, you know, like one was down and one was up. She got like a tilted kind of a piercing or like, you know, one here and one here. So uh, that didn't work very well for her. Also, you know, she ended up getting a little bit hurt. And after three days of crying and screaming and doing all the tamasha, you won't believe the kind of things she heard from her mom. Because she was obviously not happy about getting about her getting her ears pierced. You know, she didn't even have the permission. She finally actually had to remove it. Don't get your ears pierced at the wrong place, especially if you know you're doing it behind your parents' back. Now, moving to the next piercing. This is my frontal earlobe piercing. I'm just making a words now. I don't even know if this is a word. I'm pretty sure it's not. But uh, getting this ear, ear pierced was like crazy. It was impossible to convince my mom because she hated the idea. This was like with a friend, you know. I had seen, like, I was flipping through a fashion magazine with one of my friends one day. And she was like, Prachi, look at her ears. And I'm like, oh my god, I need this. This was also when I was like 15, 16 years old. I was still in school. So my mom was like completely no, no, no for it. Um, it was impossible to stop me, so I went ahead and got this pierced anyway. So this this I got pierced at a jewelry shop, and uh, it was it was not a good decision because the jewelry shop owner did not know how to pierce ears. First, he was confused if I should even get it pierced over here. He called up his doctor. He verified, you know, if it was medically the right thing to do, which I actually appreciate about him. It was very professional. But uh, after that, you know, when they started piercing, since I had no experience, he actually took a gun, like the gunshot, you know, for the gunshot piercing. He started doing a gunshot piercing and uh, it got stuck midway. Can you believe that? It was so painful. It was, I think, the most excruciating pain I have ever experienced in my life. He was trying to do a gunshot piercing on my ear cartilage. It's not skin, this part is actually cartilage. 
halfway through the gun gets dark then he pulls the gun out and then he starts piercing with a needle and then he's not being able to go all the way through and then somebody else comes to start piercing and it was a whole lot of drama and so much of blood oh my god so after he pierced one ear he looks at me and he's like are you sure you want to get the other ear pierced I'm like, are you kidding me? I didn't go through all of that just to, you know, have like my, only a single ear pierced. Of course, you have to pierce the other ear. So the other ear was obviously a little easier, but it was still very, very painful. And the worst part was that since they did not have any experience, they gave me a regular earring, okay? Uh, for this this kind of a piercing, you want a special designed earring, which looks... So he did not have that. He did not know it was required. And that putting on that, that earring was in, in itself a huge task. Because, you know, like to put the screw back from this side is very, very painful. I kept getting infections. I kept getting problems. Eventually, I had to remove it, you know. Next, I got my lips pierced. Oh my god, I'm not wearing my lip piercing today. My lip start today. How weird is that? I'm making a piercing story. We are not wearing my lip start. So, uh, next, I got my lip start, lips pierced. For this, I, I, the, it was impossible to convince my mom. It took me an, a, a, like a whole year to try and convince her. Eventually, I went to one of my aunts and I kind of flattered her. I buttered her and, you know, she convinced my mom for it. My dad still hates this piercing, by the way. <laughs> so, this was done at, at another jewelry shop. Another jewelry shop. Uh, but this time the person you know doing the piercing was slightly young so they had a bit of an idea that this is possible but uh, again they did not have experience so they gave me a very different kind of a stud so it was like a regular stud with a pin like a long pin at the back Lyra what happened baby with ah uh, so they it, it, it was like a, it was like a pin in the front with a long you know stick at the back which they kind of rolled up I just put it like that. So this piercing was not painful and it healed very quickly but the stud which they had given me was very 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 wrong and it kept uh, you know pinching on the underside of my ears and eventually I had to remove that too Lyra. I'll have to remove Lyra too. Okay baby. Okay. Okay. Play there. Okay. So um, sorry about that guys. So uh, this piercing was easy guys but then again you know like the same problem the people who were piercing my lips did not have any experience. Uh, eventually I had to remove that too and uh, fast forwarding by another 7 or 8 months it was time for me to go for my roadies audition and I wanted to look cool and I was like you know what nothing is going to make me look cooler than having a lip piercing so once again I went ahead this time I went to a mall okay and this is what I want to tell everybody who's watching this the Katana girls will even know the money square mall there is a guy who sits on the second or third floor he's really good uh, go to somebody who knows who is actually professionally trained to pierce that part of your body every part of your body is different every piercing requires a different kind of stud a different kind of uh, jewelry and uh, Lyra I every part every piercing requires a different kind of jewelry so make sure you go to the right person i went to this mall to this professional who had just read about online and okay <laughs> and he pierced my lips very nicely very well and he gave me the best tip of all which is after piercing now just take a earbud like a q-tip a earbud and uh, dip it in borolin dip it in slightly hot borolin okay guys just give me a second Lyra. Okay, baby, in now. Okay. Alright. So, take a earbud, dip it in hot borolin and apply it two or three times a day. Okay. So, this will help in, you know, reducing the chances of infection. Uh, if you want, you can also use sandalwood oil. It's slightly more expensive. It's definitely a lot more expensive than borolin. But uh, that also works beautifully for healing uh, skin and healing tissues and things like that. So yes, I got my piercing done this time by a professional. My mom was again not happy because she was like, you know, finally she's gonna get, she's gonna give up after two failed piercings. So I got this thing, I got this, my ears pierced. I went for my roadies audition and I got through. <laughs> but uh, yes, of course, it wasn't because of my piercing. I'm so sure of that. And then eventually I went back at the same time and I got this thing pierced again. So this was again very, very painful. Like this was not painful. Lip piercing is not painful. It's actually less painful than the ear piercing, you know, because the skin inside your mouth is very light. It's very soft. And also because of saliva in your mouth, there's a very little chance of you getting an infection. This piercing is painful, okay? And it takes a lot of time to heal. But then I went back to the same guy. He was very experienced. He had pierced this part of the ear before. 
and he pierced this part of my ear. He gave me the special stud, the same stud which he had given for my ears. And after about a year, this this thing actually took a year to heal. Like it did not hurt me after about a month, but it was still healing. Like you know, for the next eleven months. And uh, so yeah, that's how I got my fourth piercing. <laughs> you know, uh, finally I ended up getting like real jewelry, actual jewelry made. I was using artificial jewelry till then. Then I got uh, real jewelry, customized jewelry by giving the sample. And uh, now I'm wearing that, and my piercings are definitely here to stay. Everything is all set. Uh, long story short, piercings are fun, but uh, please make sure you plan them ahead, and most importantly, do your research. Uh, when I got my ears pierced at that time, you know we didn't use much of Google and things like that, so it was not very easy for me to really find out also who the right people were. I was just going by word of mouth and trying to find out from my friends and people around me and things like that. So I, I didn't have much choice. Plus, I was very impulsive and I was really stupid. Uh, what I'm going to say is that the people with experience are going to charge you extra money, maybe two or three hundred rupees extra. But believe me, it is worth it. It is worth it. You know, I was trying to save money. I was a school, college kid, so I wanted to save money as well. Uh, it was not right because I really ended up getting a lot of infection, and it was no, it was not healthy for me. Also, one more thing: after you get your lips or your ears pierced, wherever you get pierced, don't keep. Fiddling with it, just leave it like that. You know, leave it like that. A lot of people will tell you that you remove it and you put like a neem, neem stick or just something else or whatever. You don't have to do any of those things. Just don't touch it. Just leave it as it is. Apply borolin, and if you can apply sandalwood oil, apply sandalwood oil. That's all you have to do. So yes, that's all I wanted to share in today's piercing story video. This is a very long video. Even in fact, my camera battery is also going low now. So I'm gonna end it now. Let me know in the comment section below if you've got piercings, if you have got any insights, or if you've got any interesting stories to share. I would love to. I would love to see your stories. Sorry for the sounds in the background, guys. My mirror is working. What a random video I'm making today. My puppy is playing. My mirror is working. <laughs> But uh, yeah, hopefully this video was uh, helpful to all those of you who are looking for something like this. And with that, I'm gonna say hit like, subscribe, share this video. With your friends who are thinking of getting a piercing done, because it will help them, it will help me. And don't forget to come back for more. And my social media links are there in the description box below. So yeah, thanks for watching.